Trello. Soundcheck. Soundcheck looks good. Welcome everybody. Today we play Chernobylite. We have to continue a little bit. Let's see what we can progress today. Get out some clues. Tidim tidim. Denver, hello. Okay, what do I have in the pockets? Dead, 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 dead. Okay. We take a little bit of that. Maybe one. Or two more lockpicks. One was white, okay. Let's put this other one back. Um, that here. Let's take a little bit vodka. That, we have that, we have that, that. Looks good. Can we put this? No. Okay. Let's see. I know you're there, little mouse. Pick up. Who is this? A better question is, who are you? What? <laughs> I kid, Mousy. I kid. I know where you are, and I know who you are looking for, yes? Let this be enough for now. Listen, I have something to show you, something very important. Oh, but we must meet in person. Oh, this is not something to explain. It must be seen. I don't know who you are, but I'm not walking blindly into some trap. Blind? Oh, goodness, no, on the contrary. I wish for you to see. Meet me at the Duga Radar Command Center. You know it, yes. Duga Radar? Who the hell is this? Oh, this is insane. That's good. Hello, hello. How's it going? I heard. What are you going to do? Go meet our mystery man, I guess. The real mystery is why that guy isn't strapped to a bed someplace, juiced up on Haldol. He may know something. I have to take the risk. Sure, he might know something. Or he might just be waiting to split your skull open with a hatchet and eat your liver. I really don't think this is a good idea. It sounds exactly like a trap. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like a trap, but we can't afford to ignore him. Anyway, I've got the gun. I'll be extra careful. You better be. I don't want to find your head on a spike somewhere out in the marshes. Regardless of how I feel about Tarakan, he could be my only chance of finding Tatiana. Suit yourself, but you could just as easily be racing towards your own death, and this lunatic already knows our location. Him and his nutty buddies could be closing in on us right now. We have a good defensive position here. We should sit tight and defend it, if it comes to that. I appreciate the tactical input, Olivier, but I have to do this. So, what's the fucking plan, man? The fucking plan? Let's see. Okay, here's an unmodded revolver. 
That's not so cool. Great. Are we doing something or not? Give me your gun. What it? Okay. Then it looks okay. Change my Do that. Leave that. Okay, let's take some ammunition, let's go, what we do now? Um, you do this mission. You do this mission. We do the mission. That mission? No. We do this mission. Let's see. Duga, a huge, frightening monstrosity made of steel, the epitome of the Cold War and insatiable ambition. But what does it have to do with you or me? It's been so many years, but someone must remember Igor. Someone has to know. Who knows? We will see. Um, what is four? C. Sweet. That. That. Okay. Okay. Two targets. Weren't. Let's see. Maybe we should craft something. Against the radiation.
Ok. Sí. Oh, 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 oh. Radiation, radiation. Ok. What the hell? It doesn't look good, huh? How did this happen? Those things attacked us. The last one got to me. I blew its face off. And now I'm stuck here. By the way, can you spare a bullet? You want to kill yourself? I'm not stupid. I know I'm not getting out of this. At least... Let me end it. Before another one of those things shows up. Kill me. At least you're a human. We can try. Wait. It. There must be some way to get you out of this. You're free to look for one. Just don't leave me hanging, huh? He's stuck here. This guy is already dead. Um. Oh. There's loot. Ah, okay. Oh, I'll be damned. I was sure I was a goner. <sighs> Thank you. Maybe be more careful from now on, hmm? Listen, I'll remember your face. Uh, hopefully I can return the favor one day. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's see. Loot, loot, loot. Give me all that loot. Cannot go into these buildings. Let's head somehow. Let's see. There's something. Okay, okay, shit. That's not cool. That's really not cool. I'm not sure it take too long here. I 
get some fuel. I think I don't need this. This one. Let's see. Oops. We found this guy. Maybe the next should be dead. Worse and worse. Eighteen. It's hard on the edge. On the yellow zone. It will hurt me. Uh, what? Seriously? Seriously? That sounds not friendly. <coughs> Okay. 
that sounds also not friendly. Uh, maybe we come later back. <laughs> Who's there? Why are you motoring here? Easy. I'm just looking for some parts. What? Speak louder. I'm looking for some parts. Stop yelling. It's not safe here. Why isn't it safe? What kind of question is that? NKVD, of course. NKVD? The secret Soviet police? These bastards came around here snooping. They arrested my sister-in-law for being a kulak. And she only has two cows. Two fucking cows, goddammit. The NKVD doesn't exist anymore. You don't need to worry about them. Yes, yes. Yeshov is a piece of shit. His goons are persecuting everyone. Even decorated war heroes like myself. Duh. Oh my. What? You've got to speak louder, lad. My hearing is not so good anymore after some fritz threw a grenade into my bunker. Uh, do, do you have anything to trade? Perhaps some parts? Why didn't you ask sooner? Of course I do. I'll trade you junk for some bullets. I need to arm myself in case the NKVD comes back. Did you find anything really valuable? Take a look, son. Hmm. I'd like to exchange a bullet for some scrap. No, I have enough. Enough ammunition. Okay, we found this guy. Let's go down. came from here okay yes nothing
I cannot use this door, seriously? Was reload. Duga, a huge, frightening monstrosity made of steel, the epitome of the Cold War and insatiable ambition. But what does it have to do with you or me? It's been so many years, but someone must remember Igor. Someone has to know. Maybe the tree loot helps. Now it's open. What? Open fire against me? What? Or oh, what? It's in gold. We monitor. Patrolling Pripyat almost makes you wish you were someplace else. Okay.
Okay. Oh shit. We don't have that much time. You can see me and I cannot see you. How is this possible? I call Hex. detected seventeen meters can we go somewhere in here the same music box I gave to Chan for her birthday. What's this? There's something clipped to the inside. Is this a bug? So, Tachana was under KGB surveillance. Why? What did they want with her? Tanya, Why did hello. you come here? Recognize it. You wanted to talk. Let's talk. Not with me. The old fellow wanted you to see this first. You're running out of time. How did you get it? Not here. Meet me in the building next door in a couple of minutes. This just keeps getting better and better. What building? I don't have time for this crap. Don't have time. Twenty three meters. Eleven. What? here before what I'm 
Oh. Oh shit. I don't have any clue where I am, that's crap, and we don't have time. That's really crap. We have more and more. to go. He was here already, what? don't get it. Where's my target? Here? Oh, 
he is some guy. What took you so long? Did the tiny dancer get your attention? <laughs> Old man said it would. He's gotta test you before he decides if he likes you. Every fucking thing is a test with that crumbling fruitcake. But at least he pays well. Are you going to explain to me what this is all about? Captain Spastic said you'd recognize a big fucking radar assembly and that it means something to you. Then he mumbled something about the Wreck King and the end of the world, but I don't think he was serious about that part. I came here to talk to the old man, not his errand boy. I'm going back. The fuck you say? You're a lucky son of a bitch. I'd mess you up, but then I wouldn't get paid. Now shut your fucking face and pay attention when your betters are talking. you got a choice to make. It's easy. You can either use the detonator to blow this metal monstrosity to kingdom come, or you can use the other thingy to upgrade your PDA. That will improve the functionality of every scanner in the network. Why do I have to choose? Don't know. Don't care. I did my fucking job. Now you do yours. And who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm a man on a job, that's all. Yeah? That's all you need to know, friend of First piece of advice. This guy is crazy loco, sure, but there's always some kind of reason behind what he's doing. So, ask yourself, why would he want you to make this choice? Ugh. You take the upgrade. And what now? So, what does it do? We go through here? Oh, we can go through here. Interesting. But that's it. That's it. Crap. The freaking dolls again. I hate this freaking dolls. Everywhere. This freaking dots everywhere.
so how we can get here. How is it possible to get here? How? Oh. How, oh, how, how? Here? We grab my gun. I feel more safe with gun. It's good. There's no way to enter from here. There's also no way for, uh, to enter from here. It's crazy. Dietrich, where? Where we have to use a lockpick? Here? I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> that must be a bug. And you can't use it. Nineteen meters. So in this building or what? But I guess he was already in this building. Uh, I should have taken that job at my father-in-law's factory. Shit. And I guess I have everything. We only can lose when we stay longer here. Stuff to loot nearby. Huh. Okay. It doesn't look so.
this bothers me. I cannot enter this secret room. Maybe there are different entrance. It doesn't look so. Here? You're kidding me. It's a wood time? You kidding me? You are kidding me. at least we got the mission done. Okay. Food. Everyone gets food. What's that, my bud? I was just thinking, Mikhail. How did you get to be so knowledgeable about herbs and plants? Why? What's so goddamn strange about that? I never said it was strange. I'm just curious. You created your own compendium. No small undertaking. I studied a lot, you know. You studied botany? At what school? Best fucking school there is. The University of Life. I see. Give me that look. You can trust everything I wrote down to the letter. I've always been into plants and mushrooms. All different kinds. Everything in my compendium has been tested by me personally. So if you've got a problem with any of it, you can stick it where the control rods don't shine. Really? But some of this stuff must be poisonous. Well, I have a strong stomach. But yes, I've had my share of accidents. Luckily for me, my stalker friends were there to save me. Adrenaline and gastric lavage are my bosom companions. Sounds serious. How else would I know what's edible? It's a little something I call the scientific method. You should check it out yourself sometime. <laughs> Wait. Are you a scientist? Ingesting unidentified plants and mushrooms doesn't sound like the scientific method. It sounds like suicide. But I'm here, though, am I not? That means I'm right. Okay, fine. I just hope my stomach is as strong as yours. Mikkel, you've been around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lonely I can. That's the smartest request you've ever made, Igor. Gathering and preparing herbs and mushrooms, scavenging for food, treating bullet wounds. I wouldn't last long in this shithole if it wasn't for my mad skills. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Listen closely and don't interrupt. I'm gonna help you hone your survival instinct. 
Pretend like your life depends on it. On second thought, don't pretend. Take this shit seriously, got it? All right, then. You already know how to scout for useful herbs and mushrooms, eh? What you don't know is that the root of most plants can be eaten as well. If it's not rotten and you pull the plant out efficiently, you have a good chance of getting some free food. How fucking great is that? So, the more plants you gather, the better your chances of finding something edible. You try it now. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to gather as many healing herbs and mushrooms as you can. Ready? Go! Um. Mushrooms. And herbs. Something. Twenty seconds. Scoop those green bastards up. Mushroom, give me mushroom. Another mushroom. Disappointment. Okay, good talk. Hello. Hey, you seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about the nuclear disasters in the West. They never got as much coverage in the press as Chernobyl. Not anything like it. Isn't that odd? I think the Americans just wanted to distract the world from what was going on in their own nuclear backyard. Interesting. Some might call it a conspiracy theory, but do you think Chernobylite has already been discovered someplace else? I really don't know. But if nuclear fusion is the key, then we should probably expect it to appear in other places. Hanford, Windscale, Boucher, Fukushima. There are about 450 operational nuclear reactors in the world right now. Yeah. Something to think about, eh? But let's focus on what's in front of us. One problem at a time, Professor. Right. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your... <laughs> okay, we don't have... Maybe some other time. You're the boss, Igor. I cannot... do anything with this guys. Right now. Let's see, can't move that. I need a little bit more mission. So I should craft something. That should be good. Let's grab that. It's in cold.
Okay. Let's see. Pistol, what? Do you know, I don't need that much pistols. Okay. Mm -hmm. No voice. Why do you call me Mousy? Tell me everything you know about Tachana, starting with how you know her. Have to met in person. Okay. Let's do this. With two people, it's too risky to make some stuff. Or so you go to this mission. You this mission. And we do this mission. Tata Khan is a curious figure, wouldn't you agree? Very Shakespearean with all his mice and rats. Fascinating people can also be very dangerous, my love. Watch your step and don't fall into a trap, mousy.
Uh, maybe I should put my mask on. Oh shit, radiation, radiation is not so cool. Okay. Let's loot some stuff. being outside, cold, wet, and full of mosquitoes all biting you in the deck. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, they saw me almost. <laughs> almost. Vlodia, okay. So let's try to reach Vlodia. Fellow Prepyat citizen, once again, thank you for saving my ass. I wish there were more people like you. We would rebuild this shitty place in no time. Do you think it's safe to stick around? 
Not really, and especially not after I almost died. But I'm doing it for the cause, you see, not for my own gain. And I'll continue on, even if I'm destined to end up like Cicero. Um, I must have skipped that day in history class. Sorry. With my head and limbs separated from my body. Oh. Mm hmm All right. Show me what you've got, Cicero. Okay. What are you doing here anyway? I'm doing whatever I can, whatever needs to be done every goddamn day. And guess what? Nobody will ever thank you for that. You need to be a little more specific than that. I was a school teacher once. History, here and in Slavotich. I spent my best years teaching those drooling teenage morons about the rise and fall of empires, <laughs> about the greatness of the past. Do you know what it got me? A headache? And a shitty teacher's pension for my entire life's work. Historia est magistra vitae, said Cicero. My poor, poor Cicero. Anyways, I decided to leave the books behind and get my hands dirty. Pripyat now lies in ruins, like ancient Rome, ransacked by barbarian hordes. But we can restore it to its past greatness. Really? Uh, how do you plan on doing that? Commerce and trade have always been the sinew of civilization. Bazaars, markets, trade routes. I provide goods for fair prices to speed up the process here, in Chernobyl. Okay. Take care of yourself. Have fun with that. Let's go out of the gas. So let's see where we have to go. We have what here? Oh shit. <sighs> have to go in this zone again. Okay. Let's do that. Loot the most stuff that we can. Meet us. Nine meters. The sea. Stay in the shadows. Okay, okay. Become invisible. None of you are safe. Yeah, yeah. The freaking dolls. I see, I see. I hate you already. Freaking doll. Oh shit, radiation. There's also radiation.
Yeah, yeah, something will kill me. We know that. Everything will kill me. I get it. What's that? What's your arm? Okay. We get in here. There was monsters here. Oh, we get in here and loot all this crap. Thank God we have this uh, burning stuff in the pocket to burn these crystals. Recycler? Instant gold, free money toy. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Was here already? This clue all the way. Book lots. Hello, welcome. Mousy, hey, over here. What? I wonder what's for dinner. I hope it's not that fucking pea soup again. This is new.
Go <laughs> oh, higher. Even more higher, okay. Joking me around. What do you know about Tachana? Check your tongue, little one. Part of me still worries you could be a secret servant of the Rat King after that stunt you pulled. Who is this Rat King? <laughs> a smart question. One that I've been trying to answer myself for years. <laughs> the Rat King will usher in the end of days. He and his army of rodents. They are a plague of biblical proportions. The end of all. Oh, I don't have time for this. Please get to the point, if there is one. You will make time once you see the truth. But never mind that for now. You have questions? Ask. I'm looking for my fiancée. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. The last time I saw her was here, in Pripyat, just before the Chernobyl incident. A long time, isn't it? What are you hoping to find, exactly? I'm not sure, but... But she constantly haunts your dreams. Oh, I suspected as much. See here, I have gathered many documents, reams of them. Look through them, educate yourself. Quiet, Mousy. They're here. How oh, shit! Rat King got the better of us this time. Ah, they mustn't get their filthy paws on my archives. Oh, you never expected the second test to come so fast, eh? This hurry, Mousy. Operation Dorothy. You think you're playing a game, little rattling? Do you think anyone can stroll into the zone and do what he pleases? The Rat King approaches, and you are a tool <coughs> of his incoming reign of terror, whether you realize it or not. Here comes NAR to join the Rat Party. I think I shall leave you all to burn together. A heap of flaming, squirming rodents. I wish you had chosen differently, Igor. Okay. Ah, no. What? Oh, fuck. It's not good. How I leave here? How I leave here? Okay. Okay, okay. Too much people. 
way too much people. We don't want to run into them. Without our weapon, I'm sure something will numb me. If Gini, you mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? What about this? Uh... That'll be one. Yeah, yeah. Gif, gif. Sure thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Rafa forever, Igor. Rafa forever. Can you key? it Too much people here. What marks? Okay, that's that. Guess we don't have the other missions. Some stuff to loot. It's 
somehow the more see already. Somehow. Oh shit. Stop looking at me. How oh, I can go down without being seen. I have to take a leak zone. Oh no. Oh no. So I guess you see me now. That changed the situation. Loot everything. Give me all that stuff. Okay, yes, next level. Some stuff. Shuffle man, hello, how are you? Did I miss some stuff? It's outside, I guess. Yeah, it's outside. There are something to loot. Let's see how we can get there. Oh, there's a monster. Hello, Mr. Monster. How we can get there? can get there. The 
but somehow under the earth. But how to get there? From the boat here? No, no. It's not smart going into the to the radiation. Yeah, yeah. Can. Okay. Found some secrets. Oh shit. So. Mushroom. I'll say more here. I think that's it. That's too much radiation here is also too much radiation. something Oot. mushrooms I guess I looted the majority. Hi Rebecca, hello. How's it going? So I guess looted everything I'm good my sleeping schedule are to tell you worse but I'm good I 
drinking G fuel to not sleep <laughs> right now. Yeah, but trying to not make so long like yesterday. I was already watching videos very long so maybe we can craft something here that looks hidden here mm, let's see something about radiation Boom. And I killed everyone here, so would be maybe here but anyway this area should be safe Let's leave. We did our mission. What was your day, Rebecca? He got some ammunition, the other guy got some food, that's good, that's good. Hi, McKeel. Oh, years. Have you always been a stalker? Not always. Before I embraced this lifestyle, I did some other things. Bugshit, crazy, dangerous things. You've got my attention. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, am I right? I used to pick blueberries and sell them. It was really fucking hazardous stuff. How is picking blueberries dangerous? <laughs> you don't know your own shitty ass from your elbow, Professor Fancy Pants. But allow Uncle Mikhail to bring you up to speed. Blueberries are freaking irradiated as shit. Mushrooms, too. I was dealing with this guy who worked as a border guard, right? He used to search any 18-wheelers or lorries coming through. Anytime they flashed red on the radiation monitors. First time I met him, he was shitting bricks. He thought somebody was smuggling a dirty bomb into the European Union. But it wasn't a radiological device. It was fucking blueberries from Pripyat. Oh, my. This load exceeded the norm four to six times over. I kid you not, sir. It's not going to kill you outright, but it certainly isn't healthy, even with all those antioxidants. Fascinating. Did they put a stop to it? <laughs> of course not. The exporters just started diluting the more glowing blueberries with the less glowing ones, so the cargo wouldn't trigger the alarm. And so, glow-in-the-dark blueberries traveled to Poland, and from there to the rest of the European Union. Oh, what irony. In the end, everyone gets a taste of the Chernobyl disaster. Mikkel, you've been around. Perhaps a fuck gathering and prepare. Ah, it cost me four and I only have two. Okay. Actually.
So, I found AK. Can put AK here. We don't need that much. Also an AK. Okay. VideoTuber, hello, welcome. Askus, guess the right number. That's awesome, GG. So, um, we want that. Then we put that. Was fun marble yesterday, yeah. I was watching some episodes of uh, The Expense. Way too long. Now I'm sleepy. <laughs> and drinking G Fuel to not sleep now, right? What we will deal with that? So that here, um, that here, mechanical parts, so, so much stuff I looted, radiation stuff. Craft a little bit more ammunition for the gun. Oh, that should be enough. So we need lockpicks and maybe two of the filters. And filter should be okay. Lock picks. How much I have for one more? So maybe. Two of them. What's up, Dante? What did you call me? I was thinking about this book I read once, The Divine Comedy, when it suddenly struck me how much you resemble the main character, Dante. M yeah? You know, descending into hell to find his beloved and all that? <laughs> I'm impressed, Olivier. I didn't realize you were so well read. I studied classical literature at the Royal Military College of Canada. And my father was especially keen on Shakespeare. Cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war! God, did that get old. I knew there was more to you than a soldier for hire, Olivier. I guess I'm full of surprises. Just like you. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some- <laughs> But I'll be happy- Everything is done, okay. Maybe some other time. You're the boss, Igor. Almost misclicked and fired him. <laughs> okay, we have this, this, this. We, I think we found another clue.
speak more about this black stalker. What wants to kill me? So let's see what we do today. Okay, there's some voice over lost. I guess we have a mission. We do this mission. You do this mission. I do this mission. Why did Tarakan turn to you for help? He's been here a while. Surely he has other people who can do his bidding. He knows more about you and me than he's letting on. Watch out, my love. Who knows? We will see. We will kill everyone who wants to fight with me. Let's see. We have a question mark here. So we, I guess we go there. Anything to loot here? So much stuff to loot here. Food. Let's take that food. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, hello, hello, welcome. In the let's see. So this region, a lot of stuff to loot. Really a lot. Freaking dolls everywhere, I hate this already. Electronics. Okay. 
I guess for the loot we have to go in the zone. In the not healthy zone. Prospector. I'm looking for someone. A tall, hunched man with long brown hair. Maybe you've seen him. No, I'm sorry. What's this all about? I'm looking for my brother, Athanasius. He vanished without a trace a while back. I've been looking everywhere. I have already found his brother. I have a favor I'd like to ask you. What's on your mind, stranger? I came across an old safe, but I can't open it. You seem to know a thing or two about locks, so I was wondering... Sorry, I need to focus on finding my brother, Athanasius. I can't afford any distractions. <laughs> I found this on one of the bodies in the NAR prison. I knew it. I've had a terrible feeling for some time now. Athanasius came to me in a dream, and... I guess I just didn't want to accept it. I'm really sorry. There was nothing I could do for him. The NER must have captured and interrogated him. Did he suffer? I don't want him to become another vengeful spirit. I... I wish I could tell you that he didn't. But I honestly don't know. Thank you for letting me know. I guess there's no point in staying here any longer. Poor Athanasius. It was supposed to be our El Dorado, but fate decided otherwise. It's time for me to figure out what's next. Good luck. I mean, stay safe. You too, traveler. So? I have a favor I'd like to ask you. What's on your mind, stranger? I came across an old safe, but I can't open it. You seem to know a thing or two about locks, so I was wondering... Well, I never disclose trade secrets, but I do owe you for finding Athanasius. So, by the time you get back to the safe... I'll have it opened. Thanks. Sorry again about your brother. His karma caught up with him. Such is life. Stay safe. Cool. Let's see what you've got, pal. And uh, no, we have enough food. Do you have any hotter stuff? I thought you would never ask. No. Safe travels, my friend. Oh, and take this. Perhaps it will come in handy. Okay, okay. Nothing here. Okay, okay. Oh, is this the main quest? I think the other thingy is here. 230 something meters.
Let's see. Was I here already? So much loot. Mm -hmm. What's here? It looks... Interesting. How to get there. Get there. Vincent Co. Pre money time. I think from here we cannot reach a door. Do we can? Found it already. Okay, okay, one hundred sixty meters. Shit, there is some somebody. Huh. Oh, it's probably a rat or something. Yeah, yeah, it's a rat. I'm sure. This way cannot go here, so I have to go there. What? What? Stop, 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 stop. Wait. 
War sind das jetzt sehr... Detail. The member wrong? Maybe. Okay. The radiation, I get it here, yeah. So... Was it here? Meters. Keep digging. That was a friend you killed. You can thank your lucky stars we're in a hurry. Don't rush it. I want to watch him sweat away his last seconds before the bullet. For Misha. If I'm going to act, it has to be now. Three people. First loot everything, then talk with him. Who knows what we... Okay. Divine Providence guided your hand. I'm too important to be killed by NAR's minions. We seem destined to keep running into each other, so you might as well come on board. You failed me, and now you want to join me? You are one cheeky little rodent, Mousy. You let my secrets fall into the hands of the Rat King. I had no choice, Tarakan. I had to look for clues about Tachana's disappearance. I have to exhaust every avenue, no matter the cost. You have a big heart that sometimes leads you to make bad decisions, Mousy. But I understand. What's done is done. The yeah. Red King must know all about my hiding places by now. So I'll need to find a new one. I will join you. I have another companion. Go at the base, my companion. So, um, is it here? Should be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Stuff to loot here? No, don't look like so. So the safe. The safe is not open. It tricked me. Scam. I call scam.
so sehr. It's the main mission, I guess. Oh shit. Oh shit. Now I found red stuff because I collected the Red King. Nobody will hurt you. What? Don't have that heavy armor. That should be the next next buck. Anyway, much stuff to loot. Oh, let's see. Going around thirty five meters. Let's see, let's see. What the reds? Yeah. 
That uh, not looks good. <coughs> Okay, let's see. Fifteen, seven, two. Yes, the target. What? We don't get it. We will see. Maybe here is something to find. Okay, it was here already. I guess the main mission was to collect the guy from or for for my for my team. I cannot do much more here. What? Yes, I know so bad. Maybe I have to collect every red. That could be possible. Not much more. Hmm. Ah, that sounds like loot. <coughs> I guess that's it. This guy is also dead. I 
don't know what more to do. So I guess we cannot do anything more. I assume. can collect more of this reds maybe I have to do that let's see if we can do that without Way too much people here. Way too much people here. Maybe I have to kill them all.
Okay, one less. Patrolling Pripyat almost makes you wish you were someplace else. One by one. Yeah. Now I have time to collect everything here.
Okay. Oh shit. I should go. Mad kid, where are you, mad kid? Maybe I should leave this level because uh, there are more and more lightning strikes. Let's loot everything. And then go home. I've got some questions for you, and it's very important that you answer as best you can. I will certainly try, Mousy. First, how did you get to Chana's music box? 
She came to me. The woman in the red dress. She came to you? Where? When? In my dreams. She has haunted my nights for years. She told me where to find it. The music box. She mentioned you, too. What did she say, exactly? She advised me that you could be an important instrument in the fight against the Rat King. She also wanted you to see the music box, to convince you that all this is real. Hmm. I keep seeing her, too. At first, I thought it must be my imagination, but... No! Don't say that! She's completely real! Don't doubt it for another moment. Why was NAR trying to kill you? Isn't it obvious, Mousy? <laughs> Nothing is obvious to me right now. I'm the only person who stands between humanity and the Rat King. His minions will try to kill me every chance they get. When you okay. say so? Why don't you retire the act for a while? Who are you, really? What act? There is nothing more real than this. Tarakan is more real than you are. Does your name have some special meaning? Tarakan means cockroach. And that is what I am. A humble being reborn from the ashes of Chernobyl's destruction. Tiny, but resilient. I used to be a person like you, Mousy. But when Divine Providence called upon me to face the Rat King, Tarakan was born! Okay. All right. Good talk. Okay. Food. More and more people in my team. Igor, I need to talk to you. No mousy today so the rat king is gone it won't be long before it returns we don't have much time you need to help me i need to find out what happened to me i remember the explosion were you close to reactor number four that was the night tachana disappeared what do you remember not much fire sirens wailing burned men agonized screaming it was kharkiv in 1972 what I think you've got the time and geography mixed up. The KGB and some military geniuses tried to put out a fire in the natural gas mine with a nuclear device. Almost a kiloton yield. They blew everything up, the morons. The column of fire and radioactive ash kilometers high. People in villages nearby thought it was the end of the world. What were you doing there? I don't know. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. All I know is, I was there to observe. Calm down, Tarakan. We'll get to the bottom of it eventually. Try to get some rest now, all right? Hey, yeah. Tarakan, I was... What... But of course, I have been blessed with the wisdom. I can give you some point. Oh, that's good. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. It's good when the scanner can show me enemies. This is a big day for you, Mousy. For today, you get to be the cat. Thanks to your PDA thingy upgrade, you can now detect those pesky NAR soldiers, shadows, and living creatures in general. I also replaced your regular battery with a more advanced one. For a while, you'll be able to run a scan more often than usual. But throw it away afterwards, or it will explode. 
Whether you're out on a hunt or simply trying to avoid danger, it's pretty useful if you ask me, Mousy. Now let's do a live practice. I'll hide, and you find me. I hope you understood everything. You're such a clever Mousy after all. Close your eyes and count to 100. And no peeking. Um. Ah, okay. Found you. Well done, Mousy. See how useful this can be. Remember, it's hunt or be hunted. That is the law of nature. That was a good effort, Mousy. Now you're better equipped to deal with rats. What's the matter, Mousy? Hey there, Tarakan. I would have had. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. It's a gold free money time. Okay, Mousy, I upgraded your PDA. The scanner now uses much less energy and charges faster. It's useful when you need to find something to eat. Let's go hunting. We may as well stock up while we practice. Use the upgraded PDA to track down and shoot some small game. I cannot shoot. Okay. See. Seven or eight. Good kill. Remember to take the meat. We're not doing this for fun. Oh, we take the meat. Oh yeah, my pockets are full. Full, full.
So much stuff. Okay. Let's grab that. Craft some armor for the dude. What's the matter, Mousy? Let me take a look at your gear. Of course, Mousy. You take this AK and this. It should be cool. That we can craft. Energy, more energy. Then
Did I already have something with Kung Fu? Okay. Um. What we can do with this all this crap? Molikona. Ah, okay. Can craft here keramic. Oh, cool. What we can craft here? Cool. Then we can shred this other stuff here. So, um, last mark on um, C and what? Fine. Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> nice gun. Okay. Something you wanted to talk about? Someone. What do you make of this Terracan guy? Mm, I don't know yet. He's a very complicated personality. Complicated, huh? That's a cute way to say insane. Well, that certainly is a possibility. But he also knows a lot about NAR, the shadows, and the incident. Maybe even more than we do. We cannot ignore that. You think his grotesque costume, the fetishes, and manic blathering are some kind of act? Maybe. Maybe he's just got an overdeveloped sense of humor or something. Fuck his sense of humor. Well, the hello. I've spent in the field. I've developed a kind of sixth sense. A gut feeling about people. Right now, my gut is telling me there's something sketchy about this guy. Maybe your gut is just hungry. Did he consider that? <laughs> I'm glad your sense of humor is intact, Kim and Yuk. Is this, this game worth it? Our mission hmm. in any way. I hope you kick his shaggy, shamanic ass out of our base. I think yes. For me it is. I play the third day. I got it from here, from King Guin. There you can get it a little bit cheaper. 
And for me, yeah, I get some stalker feelings. I played stalker. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. Oh, he is dead. Hmm. Okay. The dead can be a home. And then I need more bullets. Yeah, you can watch a little bit. Um, there are different approaches. You can kill everybody. You can sneak and try not to kill everybody. So we have a scanner. What what scans for for stuff? So you can see. Where is food and stuff? You have base crafting. So yeah. I think it's okay. That's my opinion. To find some clues to to uh, get the conspiracy and some black stalker hunting you, you have to find clues and who, who we are. He knows you somehow. Kutner black stalker. Oops, wait. It's odd. The problem I expect uh, or I have uh, the game is uh, not prepared to, to run at my uh, borderless window at uh, 1080p so I have to run it at border, at border window because when that takes my complete monitor resolution I don't uh, have my chat for example on the right and left side so yeah I have to put it this way and um, yeah that's a little bit annoying that the game doesn't have uh, that borderless window bought what I want what I need but anyway we can deal with that it looks better okay Yeah, but that's a problem what uh, you only have when you have a bigger monitor and want to play in a smaller area. For example, I have some browsers of the, on the other side here, so I had have to run it in borderless window or, or window mode. And not every game is happy with uh, borderless window or um, window mode. I think this game makes even the resolution worse. Yeah, 1904 versus 1041. When I put it in borderless window mode, it 
also has this resolution, so it looks weird. <laughs> But yeah, we will see. Wait. Cannot. End? Okay, I have to talk with someone. Okay. Hey, Mousy. Have you ever heard the story of the wolf in sheep's clothing? Uh, yes. What if it was a mousy in rat's clothing? Or a hare in hunter's clothing? How do you like that? I'm not sure it's the same. Of course it is. Sometimes you need to change your skin to stay hidden amongst your enemies. Well, you're talking about a disguise. A disguise? Sure. I have some useful items stashed in my hideout. The uniforms used by the Rat King's top minions, for example. Then you will look like them and smell like them. An NAR officer's uniform would definitely be useful. Look in the building adjacent to the Dugger Radar building. Third floor. I laid some traps, so watch out for the mousy. These traps kill rats and mousies alike. Memorize this rhyme. One, two, three, four, five. A hunter went out for a walk. Suddenly, a hare appeared and shot him down. Bang, bang! Oh, oh, oh! The hunter is going to die. He's crawling back home. Saying, bury me deep and let me lie. It's the other way around. The hunter shot the hare. One, two, three. Every kid in the country knows that rhyme. It beats a password that anyone can copy. Also, here's the key so you don't have to break in like a common thief. Okay. Let's do this. What's the skinny partner? Okay, okay. Wait. Did the uh, time was already fast forwarding? Okay. Then we sent um This guy on this moon mission, medicine, yeah, to get this medicine job. Hmm. You get this. Oh, wait. this mission this is some sort of side quest i think this is the main quest the first yeah yeah you can assign your companions to to some missions but the main on site and side quests you have to do by yourself This woman, Olga, she seems to be running the show. It must be tough as nails. And all these Samo shields? They say it takes a village to raise a child, but how many does it take to find a lost love? And for example, after your mission, uh, you have to um, feed them. So you need food to... to um, yeah, give, give everyone to eat, because uh, they get mad at you when you don't give them food. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you have to watch your radiation, that you don't run into heavy radiated zones.
you have our map so you can see what to find that's the main mission that's some sort of side mission what you can discover so I guess When you scan with your scanner, you see uh, nearby objects what you can loot. I just upgraded my scanner that I can scan more often and that has only a certain range. I just upgraded my scanner to see the enemies. So when you start, you don't see the enemies from the scanner. Now it's a little bit more easy for me when I see the enemies around me. What a stupid job. I was stupid enough to take it. Yeah, and you see when they together it's much harder because you cannot kill them um, silently when they are together because they will see you and opening fire then Like I said, you can play this game on different approaches. You can go around and, and hide. It takes a little bit longer, but also possible. You see the range now I don't see the enemies because they are out of range. Help, please. Help. There are this guy, okay that is this question mark. You need this uh, parts here for example this chemicals mostly I try to be silent but sometimes they uh, see me and then you have to do Rambo <laughs> and somebody sees you and uh, some other guys around and you have to do the Rambo You're next. I'm the next okay when you say so You have some levels and with this uh, levels you have some points you can assign and this points you can use to, to ask your companions to train you something more sneaky or more damage on the pistol or something. Here, for example, I can show you when you go in this way where you don't have to be. It gets more radiation and when I go further, then I will die from that radiation. We have to watch your radiation levels a little bit. You can decontaminate yourself with some stuff with soups what you can cook I think this is yeah this is anti-radiation soup
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some sort of open world, but so you have some boundaries. Uh, sometimes a fence uh, disrupt you from going there. Sometimes it's radiation, and when you see, it's going really hard up when you go in this direction. <laughs> And when you kill too much, for example, with gun, you lose some sanity. It's the first bar here, and you have also soups or uh, vodka to to regain your sanity. But you have to find this stuff. So you don't don't have it automatically. In some in some green areas, when you see green fog, uh, then you have to wear the gas mask, yeah, and you only have a um, certain amount of filters, you can craft these filters, so, yeah, it gives me stalker feelings, yeah, yeah, and for me, uh, when you don't buy it directly on Steam, when you go on the on our key site, for example, here, Kangoin, for example, I think I saved five dollars or something. So I don't pay the full price. I think that's okay then. Yeah, I upgraded my, my scanner already. So I can scan more often. Normally you can can scan once every I think 30 or 45 seconds. And you see I don't, didn't kill anyone yet you have to loot because you need the uh, things to craft this for example mechanical parts it's also mechanical parts see enemies you see on the radar and also on the but that that's my scanner upgrade you only see the enemies on the on the compass on top uh, when you nearby really close to them when i finish my contract i'm going to grow a beard chicks in moscow dig beards and you see the, the red marker when they see you Get to, uh, or the, the yellow marker, it gets wet and then they fire at you. When it's going yellow, they don't have discovered you completely, but it helps you to stay out of sight. <laughs> Let's see and loot a little bit more. Maybe we can find some more stuff. It's not that hard. I can show you. When you do the sneak attack, you don't uh, lose sanity. When you shoot them with gun, you then you lose sanity and have to refill it somehow. At some time. I see this guy almost saw me. Oh shit, oh shit. Where are you? Okay, that was a Rambo. <laughs> and I... I already put uh, some shooting is yeah basically bad. I, I lost some little bit of sanity now. 
I got uh, some um, silencer on my AK. I got a uh, uh, vision to um, see the enemies. Oh shit. He's searching. Now you have the, cho the, the choice. Hmm. When you want to, to. Ah, now he see me. Yeah, yeah, it's just one guy. From here. When you don't know where the um, dead enemies, you can loot them, you can scan for them, of course. That's, that's the rumble, in my thought. <laughs> Somewhere here was another guy. Maybe he is. He came to help them, okay. Yeah, maybe he was there to help them. There's more stuff to loot. In the train, okay. Okay. Most of the time, when you can loot, uh, you don't have to go to the to the heavy radiation stuff. Oh, I can get there. Yeah, sometimes you have to figure out here, for example, I have to lockpick and you can craft lockpicks. I have five lockpicks on me. Yeah, I got a pump gun, some modifications. Charlie is a real Rambo. No. I don't want to, to be the Rambo, but sometimes... It's... You cannot, cannot do anything else because they, they discover you and you have to kill them. That's for example not a bad guy because he don't doesn't uh, run around and stuff. Sometimes you find some guys to, to trade with them. Prospector. I have a favor I'd like to ask you. What's on your mind, stranger? I came across an old. Well, I never thank this yeah. karmic. We had already this conversation. We can trade. Do you have any hotter? I thought you would never ask. Can give him one lockpick for two food rations. But I have to get enough food. Safe travels, my friend. Because I play on easy, so it's not that hard to get food when you play on easy. <laughs> 
but I don't want to be frustrated in the game, so I started with easy because it was the first time I playing this game. Isn't there here some sort of tunnel? What's here? I think uh, three difficulty levels and my guessing is... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <coughs> you see? When you go in some zone where you should uh, wear a mask, <laughs> you see it, you feel it. First you see a symbol for the gas mask and when you don't pay attention, it remembers you with coursing and stuff. Let's loot in this direction. Yeah, and the, the um, thunder, uh, the thunder was coming, what coming closer and closer is uh, some time limit. Um, some monsters are spawning after some time. So here, for example, is something, but I don't know where to get there. Let's see. There's some black stalker what, what wants to kill you and um, the longer you stay in the world, the longer or the more um, rumbling and, and uh, thunder you hear. Um, and the bigger is the chance that the stalker will spawn the black stalker and kill you. Um, first time I didn't pay attention. Just, just stay inside, okay? You sure? Uh, I can't take this tension anymore. Uh, maybe we should. You want to face that monster? Huh? Go ahead, but I'm bolting this door behind you. No fucking way. Then shut your fucking face and stay put. Shh, I hear something. Mm, I cannot go in here. Mm. I'm not sure because I'm. Um, I better do the main mission now. For this map, uh, because when. When it gets harder and harder and more monsters and more monsters warning, you cannot do your main mission then. You have to leave then. And you hear the, the, the thunder is going more frequently and... That's here my main mission. Going here. Hello. I don't know you. What do you want? I'm Igor. Olga sent for me. Olga, some Igor jackass here to see you. You know this guy, or should I shoot him in the throat? It's fine. Open the gate, Marco. You have some sort of choice in this game, and you have some sort of uh, chances to rebuild your choices. It's weird, but it's uh, complicated. And the Black Stalker, I think, yes, that's some sort of end boss. So, Olga. Professor Kimenuk, I presume? It's an honor to finally meet you in person. We've got a lot of work to do, you and I. I'm here. What did you want to talk about? 
A few days ago, someone took our supplies. My husband, Kostia, went after the thieves. Now he's gone too. In the meantime, some NAR henchmen showed up claiming they have a prisoner they want to trade for something of value. And you think it's your Kostya? The description matches. I'd make the trade in a heartbeat, but as you can see, we don't really have anything to exchange for my husband. All right. I can see you're really looking out for your people. I appreciate that. I'll help if I can. I promise you won't regret it. For our friends, we serve fine vodka. For our enemies, we have shotguns. One more thing. These assholes who took Kostya, I'm pretty sure they have our supplies too. You want me to keep an eye out for the supplies too, huh? If you don't mind, but my old man comes first, obviously. Sure, sure. I live to serve. Okay, I did already do this mission and somehow I reset this mission again. But because I killed his uh, her, her husband already, accidentally, <laughs> we don't can change much. Let's see. We have to make quick. Yeah, he don't wanted to say who he is and and uh, oh shit. Okay, sanity looks good. Let's try this new plasma gun. Good. <laughs> that was a plasma gun I just crafted. And that, that was the first field test. <laughs> so we have to go down, I guess. Okay. That's the mission. That does the supplies I have to bring back, I guess. Wait a minute. Kopachi? Kostya? <sighs> Shit. The guy the NAR was looking for. The guy I killed was Olga's husband? Fuck. Yeah. What am I going to do now? Should I come clean? I somehow resetted this mission, so I have to talk to Olga again and say, Sorry, I killed your husband. But maybe I, I will choose a second uh, choice. I will not tell her that I killed her husband. So let's run back. Let me in. Last time I told her that I killed him. I retrieved your supplies. That's fantastic. What about the thieves? Just some NAR bastards trying to earn something on the side. They won't bother you anymore. Good riddance. Nobody will shed a tear for those parasites. You came through, Igor. You're a man of your word. One more thing. Kostya never made it back to the camp. If you happen to run into him, tell him to hurry. We need him. I need him. You should tell her the truth, Mousy. Haven't you noticed yet that secrets never bring anyone happiness? I have no fucking idea what you think you're going to accomplish by telling her the truth. But 
Yeah, go for it. I can't fucking wait to hear a reaction. No. I don't know where he is. Sorry. I was hoping you had news. Well, Kosti is a big boy. I'm sure he can handle himself. But if you need him, be sure to send him my way, okay? Oh shit. Mikael wanted to that I post the truth. Hmm. Joining forces. Your people seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your skills and drive. And I could use someone who knows so much about any air technology. Yeah, I think Madve can take care of things on his own for a while. Lead the way. I'll open a portal for you. Just don't freak out, okay? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you. It is a little unsettling, but I trust you. Hop on and enjoy the ride. I'll see you at the base. So now when you don't have a, a husband anymore, you can join me. <laughs> Let me out, maybe we can find some more stuff. Now we have another companion. Okay. But maybe we should craft something. Wait, B. Um, no, I think it doesn't matter when I craft something now. You can uh, take influence of the effects. Of the zone. So, for example, the zone has a ground radiation level, and you can craft uh, things um, to, to lower it for the next visit. But uh, when the technique, uh, technique what you crafted, discovered from the soldiers, they will destroy it. So you have to hide it when you craft some stuff. But yeah, I think we are done here. We looted a lot. It's not needed to kill more people. Let's go a little bit away from them and I have some sort of portal generator to go to my base back. To end this trip. I appreciate you joining my little team. If this will ensure the safety of my people, then it's the right thing to do. Your village, does it have a name? We just call it Matvi's place. Uh, initially, it was nothing but some old huts, but when those bastards started showing up on our doorstep, we decided to fortify our position. It looks almost like a stronghold. You think it could withstand an NAR siege? Not if they bring trebuchets and ballistas, but seriously, we're doing fine. Food shortages have always been the biggest issue. So I guess it's kind of a medieval situation? Shit. Okay. I was going to say, NAR is only part of the problem. How do you deal with the shadows? We call them lurkers, and they don't come around the village for some reason. I asked Matt Vey about it once, but he wasn't very forthcoming said something about specific microclimate of this spot. Microclimate, you say? Hmm. 
The important thing is that we're safe in the village, at least from that group of monsters. I trust Mave. His word's good enough for me. I mean, hopefully there is a uh, free DLC because uh, when the game gets released, uh, I don't play it um, another time, I think. But when there are DLC, then you have a reason to play it again. How do you deal with NAR? Yeah, any way we can. Mostly with guns and bullets and knives and pretty much whatever can be used to hurry someone along to the grave. I wonder why they're so intent on harassing you. You don't bother anyone out here. We thought the same thing at first. We figured maybe we could come to an understanding and they'd leave us alone. We got the whole wilderness here after all. Some low-level mercs agreed to turn a blind eye, but then they started coming to collect. A tribute? Yeah, let's hope. Exactly. It started small, but then the fuckers got greedy. <laughs> Naturally. They even wanted to borrow some ladies from our village for a party. Sounds awful. I actually volunteered. I said to Mave, I'm no lady, but I'll go. And Mave replied, like hell you will. And then he told those NAR bastards to go to hell. Well, that's understandable. He's your stepdad. He was worried about what they'd do to you. Hell no. Uh, he knew if I went with them that they'd all end up dead with a mouthful of severed dick. I guess he wanted to avoid an all-out war for as long as possible. <laughs> you truly are something, Olga. Okay. Now it's uh, after briefing. So he didn't make his uh, mission successfully. He got some ammunition, but he is his sanity is lowered. Okay, food. Anyone wants food? Anyone gets the same food ration than me? There we say it. Welcome. We have enough food. So, we have more people. I have no clue how to do this. I need more people to do a um, attack on the reactor, I suppose. And I need some sniper, spy, hacker. I don't know. That I don't discover yet. How to deal with that. So you can harvest your stuff that you growing. Um, it's not normal that he is almost in the box here. <laughs> Um, let's put some stuff in the... Oh, I can talk with him? Okay. Namas fucking day, Igor! And good day to you, Mikhail. I saw you fooling around with some cards earlier. Are you a gambling man? These are tarot cards. Huh? Are you moonlighting as a gypsy? Where's your crystal ball? Oh, let me think where I left it. Oh, now I remember. It's up your asshole. You don't like anything that doesn't fit with your mind-numbing scientific worldview, right? I don't like superstitious nonsense without any basis in reason hey, or fact. Up. You can bet your skinny little ass there are things around here that can't be easily explained. You should keep an open mind instead of just burying your face in books. The tarot can be a powerful fucking tool if you let it. Okay, Sadie. Okay, I'll bite. What does the tarot Sleep say? Sleep I actually already pulled a card for you today. The lovers. Nice. This card can have multiple meanings. 
Beerus, the obvious one. Me and Tatiana? Very good. But it also means having to make a choice. One that will have consequences you cannot foresee. I'd have to pull a second card to get into it. Should I do that, Igor? I think I'll stick with my mind-numbing scientific worldview. Thanks anyway. Mikkel, you've been around. Perhaps a gathering and... I need two points for that. Okay. Actually, I can't... Where is the woman? Maybe I can learn from her. Some stuff. Yeah. What can I do for you, Professor? Olga. Hi, Olga. I was wondering if you could share some of the know-how you've picked up in the zone. I'd be glad to. When you're in the zone, you must be self-sufficient. You don't want to end up worm food. Oh, cool. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn, oh great huntress. <laughs> great huntress. I'll smack you upside the head. Got it. All right. It seems I've got my work cut out for me. This is going to be extremely difficult, maybe even dangerous. I thought you were going to teach me how to effectively pack a bag. How could that be dangerous? Dangerous for my mental health. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Firstly, I want to address the fact that, for some reason, I'm the only one who can teach you the art of packing. Presumably because I'm a woman. I find that sexist, extremely, and offensive. I beg your pardon? Thank you. That said, I do have some tricks up my sleeve, or should I say, up my bag, <laughs> uh, that I can share with you. Because frankly, Igor, when I look at the warehouse and how you furnish and organize it, it makes me weep. You weep? I never noticed. I'm weeping on the inside. My soul bleeds when I see this chaotic trash heap of grime and despair. No clean lines, no aesthetic, just a man cave reeking of testosterone. That's a little bit harsh, don't you think? But fear not, as a wise man once said, when the student is ready, the teacher reveals herself. And you're the teacher? Yes, I am. Here's the first secret. It's all in your head. What do you mean? The chaos in your head translates into the chaos in your inventory. The more organized you are, the clearer your thoughts, the purer your mind, the better your packing skills. But... But, but, nothing. Don't argue. Don't deny it. Don't fight the truth. Just be silent and absorb. I'll let you think on this for a couple minutes, or hours. Okay. So I have more room now in inventory and we put some Mikael can you go away from my box that 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 we need don't need um, Maybe I can give her a shotgun. What can I do for you, Professor? I'd like to rethink your gear loadout. Sure, Igor. Just don't make a mess of my inventory. Here you get a shotgun and... My field gen generator. Okay. Remembered something, Mousy. What is it? More rat stories or history lessons? A cautionary tale. A wise Mousy can always find a tasty bit of cheese if he's smart. But take care that the cheese isn't poisoned or sitting in a trap. You never know what you might find. What are you talking about? 
Odesk, 1957. Kapow! Evil rats were stirring the pot, trying to stick their ugly little stouts where they shouldn't. Yes, I remember reading about that. It was a chemical explosion, right? Huge quantities of cesium-137 and strontium-90 were released into the atmosphere. Wasn't that classified? While you were reading about it, my mother had to live through it. The placid Teka River, so beautiful this time of the year. But after the boom, so, so poisonous. Yes, one of many regrettable failures. No, 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 Mousy. What you call failure, I call a deliberate plan of the Rat King. He lured the silly little mouses with a chunk of smelly, yet delicious cheese. But it was poison. And the cheese you are looking for may be poisoned as well. Even if it looks delicious. So be very careful, little mouse. Whenever you sense these machinations in the shadows, you can be sure that the Rat King has a part in it. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Okay. Let me take a look at your gear. Of course, Mousy. Okay, he has already an okayish stuff. That's good. Then we have a cycle. Okay. We have a cycle this and this. Of lockpicks, okay. You didn't do that. What? You didn't do what? I don't get what you mean, Rebecca. <laughs> what you didn't do it. No, some stuff we have to leave home. Because he cannot carry all this crap around. Okay, we have enough ammunition. He wants a ceramic plate, okay. 
Do we have a ceramic plate? Yes, we have. Let's craft more. Not here, okay. Um, not here, here. Cool. Upgraded. <laughs> okay. You always innocent. Ready, we have some ammunition. That should be enough. We have food, we have some other stuff here. Hey, Igor, can we talk? Sure, what's up? I've seen some weird shit in my time, but I just can't get used to being inside. How to put it? Inside the space-time tunnel, connecting singularities. You're doing it again. Doing what? Using fancy science jargon that means nothing to me. I'm not a scientist. Sorry, force of habit. The physics of this phenomena is very complex, even for me. Trust me on that. Or maybe you're just keeping things from us. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why would I do that? Because knowledge is power. Or maybe because this thing, this... Chernobylite might open a gate to hell, and you don't want anyone to know. Still ridiculous. Is it? You're like a sorcerer holding a key to the mystery of the world. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up a prophet, the time-traveling mystic of the zone. I believe in science, not magic. To the common man, they might as well be the same thing, my friend. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. Hmm, okay. Then we should be ready. See more clues. Really? Okay, next day. I need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's going on? I've gotten word from Matt Day. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now? I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and any argoons. And... Madvey thinks it's a prison. Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mum? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I've made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? 
I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, and that bay is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? You've got a point. It makes sense to have this place on our radar. I'll check it out. Man, a boy. Now go bring me back some good news. So let's see. This mission is for you. This mission is for you. And this mission is for you. Mikael, you can be in the base. Let's see. I know you just want to do the right thing, but are you sure you're not wasting your time? You usually don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. This whole zone is littered with old Soviet bunkers and relics of the past. Why would the NAR be interested in any of that? We will see. We will see. Loading. I just arrived in Red Forest. Great. Keep your eyes open and you should spot it. On my way. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So I guess you can't go around it. Oh shit. It was close. They won't bother you anymore. A tough guy, huh? Well done. Usually these assholes don't venture this far because of the lurkers. Anyways, thanks. We would have dealt with them ourselves, but I guess you saved us the trouble. Done. No problem.
Wait. Uh, what? I don't want it to be the Rambo, but you forced me to do so. Okay. Nothing really more here. Welcome, welcome. Fancy some trading? Uh, Out here, sometimes I learned that from Warren Buffett. You've uh, Do you buy goods as well? Sure. Actually, I'm looking for a few things right now. Hmm. No. I think I've done enough trading for now. I'm looking to use to work at you in missing 30 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. Busy? With what? With creating a new world of and Good luck. Ah, oh, he talked again. Yeah, yeah. Good luck building your fortune. <laughs> thanks. But I'll make my own luck. Okie dokie. Okie dokie.
so... Mushrooms. I see mushrooms. Give me mushrooms. I'm kid, it's level two and above. The bot ignores you when you are not level two. Just saying. What you can do, get to level 2 by lurking, fighting, following, is that you get channel XP. Olga, I found the entrance. Watch out for guards, they're probably close by. Of course, where else would they be? Hmm, very, very good, marvelous, wonderful. Kid, welcome. Now the bot doesn't ignore you. Now you are level 2. Now you can guess when you want. Uh, oh, there's a person there. No enemy. Hey, little guy, what are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my uncle will kick the crap out of you. Whoa, easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. I want to help you, Gleb, but I need to ask you something first. Okay? Okay, okay. But hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions in medicine. Mm, what kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small bottle of it in his <laughs> chest pocket. Really smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men. Did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots, maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you to uh, green crystals? No, never. Huh, curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collater... collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral? Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here, and he's coming to visit soon. But I bet they're liars. Poor boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? Please, please, please. Soon, kiddo. Just give me a minute to think here. First, I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich, and this black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle. And they gave me a can of coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. They kidnapped you? When I woke up, I was in here. But I wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. 
I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And, and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're the bravest little boy I ever met, Cleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. <laughs> Who's your uncle? Someone important? Of course he is. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm, I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now, so uncle is taking care of me. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad. All right, time to bust you out of here. Thank you. I'll tell my uncle that you're a really nice person. Igor, look, if you think things through, you'll realize the lad is safer right where he is than out in the zone. Um. Olga, I found something. A control panel. Perhaps it opens the cell doors. What now, Igor? Do you have any babysitting experience? And the kid should stay in the bunker for now. Even if he's a prisoner, he's protected. He's safer in there than outside. How about sending him to Madface? You said it was reasonably safe, right? It's not a place for kids. Everyone needs to know how to fight. What are they gonna do with them anyway? Why can't you just, I don't know, open that portal of yours and send them to your base? I thought about it, but it's too risky. He's too small. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. In that case, I'm telling you, I'll leave him right where he is. Olga, I'm sending the kid to your village. I really hope you thought this through. He'll have to grow up very fast over there. They're not gonna go easy on him. The village is the only safe place in the zone. There's a village nearby, Glib. A stronghold full of people, like soldiers. But on our side, they'll shelter you. Just say, Olga sent you. Think you can make it on your own? No problem. I received a merit badge for my orienteering. Top of my scout unit. <laughs> Olga, 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 why? Olga hates kids. I see. Something more right here. Not really. Not really.
I'm good. GG. It was quite Def Marvel, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. CD, welcome. How oh, was your stream? Let's see if we can loot something a little bit more here. I'm okay, a little bit tired because my sleep schedule is not the best, but I'm okay. Everything is okay. Wait, let's see if you can craft something. Ghost game. I was thinking to get this game, but it looks it makes only fun when you play it with more than one people. Life like you did. Hello, welcome. Find here some stuff. Let's see. And where's my gas mask? Here. Mm, very, very good. Marvelous. Wonderful. There's somebody we don't want, don't want to deal with them. Can we loot some stuff here? mask off this is a closing door oh shit <laughs> Wait. Came from here. But I guess I looted almost everything here. Nobody nearby, and we end this one and go back to the base. Hmm. Hmm. 
How Let's weird see. is that, huh? Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I guess it pays off to follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Madvi, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. I'm happy you saved that kid. I really am. I want you to know that. They told me you arrived safely in the village. Uh, I still think it was the wrong decision at the time, but you were under a lot of pressure. Anyway, next time, please listen to me, little babushka, okay? <laughs> little babushka. Everyone wants food. Everyone gets food. Much stuff. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. That can be. That can be. Can I scrap some metal plates? To replace the armor, and we need a burner. Okay, I guess we are ready. you have you started to regret joining our little suicide squad yet <laughs> no way i live for this kind of thing and since anton's death it's personal for hopefully you won't change your mind shadows and years ago i met a young the kid's colleagues chin was so scared there was no way in heaven could have knocked blah 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 blah, 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 blah. I understand you feel right i also i will do what whatever it take yeah yeah we already talked about it War against the Rat King is going poorly. I can see things, Mousy. Are you okay? You don't look so hot. The terror courses through me. 
present, past, future. A tormented, hungry beast about to burst free of its cage. A volcano of unstoppable force. Hellish green light and poisonous. Is this in the past or the future? Future? Past? These distinctions are meaningless before a terror from out of this world. We awoke something that night in 1986. Something so alien. It is almost beyond our comprehension. Beyond comprehension? I don't think so. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Everything has a scientific explanation. Remember, Igor. This isn't just some stuff for you to power your fancy gun. It's so much more. You need to be ready for anything, Mousy. Okay. Hey there, Tarakan. But of course I can give you... Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Let's learn a little bit camouflage. You know what the mouse's biggest strength is? Not its teeth, not its size. It's the ability to become invisible, or almost invisible. That is what I will teach you today, Mousy. The secret lies in camouflage and controlling your breathing. You can't literally become invisible, only I can do that. And the Rat King. <laughs> but you can make yourself almost indistinguishable from your surroundings. Always stay in the shadows. Use vegetation to conceal your movements. Wear earthy colors like dark green or brown. Control your breathing. Be like a shadow. Be exactly like a mousy mousy. So, let's put this knowledge to the test. I'll be the rat king, and you try to sneak up on me, mouse. Ready when you are, mousey. Hi Silver, hello, welcome. You're a very gifted student, Mousy. Congratulations. I think you learned something today, Mousy. Hopefully it will be enough to keep you alive. <laughs> Let's see. Don't find any new clues, so end this day and start a new mission. Again? Sure. Let's talk. It's about my mother. Rather, about what she found. I didn't tell you this before, because I didn't know if I could trust you. I, I think I know why they took my mom. She was dangerous to NAR. It wasn't a coincidence. She saw something. Even took a photo. You see, when NAR first came here, they pretended to be friendly. They offered free examinations to several sandwich shells, and even promised my mother medical assistance. It was all a ruse, of course. My mother was invited to their lab, and she ended up seeing something she wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. She was inside their lab? You should have told me about this sooner. Do you know what she saw? They were running experiments with Chernobylite on human subjects. All volunteers, of course. 
Soon after that, people start vanishing, my mom included. Interesting. Do you still have the photo? No, my mom always kept it on her. Hmm. Is there any other proof to back up your mother's account? No, but I can't see my mother lying about something like that. She only ever had the Samuel Shell's best interest at heart. My mother was the least selfish person I've ever known. She wanted to help everyone who suffered from the Chernobyl disaster in any way she could. She paid the ultimate price for her kind heart. Now, I have to find out why and make this right. I get it. Really. She sounds like an amazing lady. How can I help? I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to know what my mother saw in that lab. I need you to go to Lenin Square and get inside. There must be something there incriminating NAR. This will help your search for Tatiana as well. If she's in the zone, she must somehow be part of all of this. It won't be easy, but I'll definitely try. Definitely. Igor, a moment, please. I heard you talking to our she-wolf here. You don't want to go to Lenin Square. I don't think you're ready. Who knows what you'll be up against? I think I've proved myself quite capable, no? You can harness the power of Chernobylite, an impressive feat. But what if they find a way to disable it? You're probably right. What do you propose? I'll do it. With a broken arm? Besides, we have no idea what we'll find. It's very likely we'll need my scientific expertise to assess the situation. I'm not a complete imbecile, you know. I can tell the difference between a centrifuge and a... I don't know, kitchen robot? Of course you can, Olivier. Don't take this the wrong way. But I still think I should be the one to go. We will see. Eighty-eight percent. So I will probably do that. Everyone has his things to do. It seems that Olga's mother was onto something. Something that got her killed. Could it be the key to finding out about the NAR's plans? Just be very careful, my love. I feel you getting closer to the heart of evil. Soon you may reach a point of no return. You will see. Back for the lab, Igor. Should be in the middle of any Earth's camp. See if you can slip in unnoticed. Don't get in any fight unless you have to. Sure thing, Mum. And don't worry. I've got my sweater. You've got some issues, don't you? Okay. Now's not the time to get distracted. Locate the lab and try to reach it without drawing attention. You don't want to fight all these guys at once. Oh shit, that's a lot of guys.
Sneaky, sneaky. I'm sure this guy will turn around in no time. Mona, hello, welcome. <laughs> Minus one. Way too many people here. Minus another one. Dead Rod Nuss was not so cool. What? It is what it is. I 
I know that voice. Where have I heard it before? Who? Who are you? What are you doing in here? That man on the phone. Who was it? You're... You're Kimimyuk. Dear God, please don't hurt me. I asked you a goddamn question. My boss, you mean? I, I, I don't know his real identity. Uh, almost nobody does, I swear. Do you really want to play it this way? I can see you're scared, and rightfully so. But it seems you're deliberately trying my patience. No, not at all, sir. Uh, please, I, I can't tell you what I don't know. But I can tell you other things. Just ask. Just don't kill me. I can be useful. You'll see. Vanya, my patience is wearing thin. Where are those damned chemicals? Answer him. But casually. Relax. Yes, yes, I... Uh, I'm sorry. I'll send them right away. Uh, apologies for the delay. Spare me the excuses and move! I need that core die as a poxite, and I need it now! You two, continue without me. Oh, for your sakes, you don't screw this up. It would be best if you forgot I was ever here. Of course, of course. I won't tell a soul. Oh shit. Send gold. Money time. One guy less to deal with.
Adventure, thank you for the wait. Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Welcome, Lappy. Welcome, Yo Yo. That scared me. Uh, <laughs> I miss Euro song. Uh, that's that's good, I think. I don't watch your song. It's not my thingy. Thank you also. Hmm. Like I said, I didn't don't really care. It's not my thingy. Of course, oh, of course. Of course they saw me. Of course, why not? We have less time. Damn it. Every weapon kill you do costs some time. Hello. You drank too much wine. <laughs> Sleep well. Sleep well. So we have to make it quick, I guess. Structure. This used to be a liver. 
If you can believe it, we need to collect samples. Vanya? Finally! Who the hell are you? What did you do with Vanya? Stay very still if you want to live. Please don't hurt us. We're scientists. We... Yeah, so was Dr. Mengele. Are you performing a vivisection without anesthesia? Administering shots of typhus? What are you doing exactly? I don't think I so. Really Did I finish no, the game soon? Like that. We're not beasts. We treat our patients as humanely as possible. But you have to understand that... Scientific advancement requires sacrifice. <laughs> Other people's sacrifice. I expected it longer. But yes, everything we do is for the greater good. How does it work? Are you shooting these poor souls up full of Chernobylite? I can't talk about that. The NDA we signed is very strict. The penalties... Did you just say NDA? Are you for real? Stop being a corporate stooge and start thinking about your own life. Sure, sure, you're right, of course. We started out giving them shots, but that was just the first stage. We're way past that now. <laughs> uh-huh. It was, you see. The I guess I was, don't finish this game today. Results. We've moved from administering mm. random solutions to directly editing human genomes. To Many more have to do one more day. Three. Your patients Maybe two. Subjects. Whatever you Base. call them. Especially the locals. What happened to them? Which ones? There were many patients here. Some of them didn't make it past the final phase. The others, we don't know. Don't let him dodge the question. Make him talk. Look, please, can we all try to stay calm? Let us explain. Modifying genomes is only the first step. Next, we induce a state of superconsciousness in the subject's gamma brain waves. It's basic neurology. The sympathetic nervous system begins to release enormous amounts of energy straight to the brain via the thalamic gate at the brain stem. When the thalamic gate... Um, let's see. I have played it 19 hours and I guess I will play minimum 10 hours more. That's my feeling. The energy flows to the pineal gland, and well, there you go. I don't like to use this term, but it opens a third eye. A third eye? Right. Then what? Enhanced by Chernobylite, the pineal gland can do incredible things release all kinds of energy and even influence physical objects, as in telekinesis. You're torturing people so they can bend spoons with their mind? What kind of quacks are you? This is all following the scientific method, believe me. These are closely monitored, replicable experiments. Anyway, when the subject is ready for the final stage, we put them in an induced coma. Contrary to what you might think, it's for their own good. Explain, and fast. What is this final stage? Our boss calls it communion. It's when the subject's gamma brain waves interact with Chernobylite's mental waves, or, well, to tell you the truth, we don't know exactly what it is. Chernobylite is like a virus, in a way. It's not exactly inorganic matter, but neither is it a living organism. It's something in between. And it produces a type of brain wave, even though it clearly has no structured organic tissue. Well, what's the purpose of this communion? This is where it gets really interesting. You know that Chernobylite can be used to create wormholes, right? You've been doing it yourself. But these wormholes are special. Haven't you noticed? They're not a purely physical phenomenon. I don't I understand. For 20. What else could they be? We know what King Green. in the tunnels you know? like. We know what they are in theory. But has anyone actually been inside one before? Bullshit. I've studied Chernobylite too. The exotic energy it contains is powerful enough to create quasi-black holes and passages between them. We thought so too, at first. Uh, but think about this. What if there was an organism, or, or a virus, an entity powerful enough to create its own singularities? No biological organism could encapsulate that kind of energy, or survive if it did. A living entity would be torn to shreds. But Chernobylite is not a normal biological organism, is it? We have no idea what it is. 
Just try and consider the possibility that the wormholes you're walking into are not something created outside of Chernobylite. They are Chernobylite. You're traveling through the veins and corridors of its multidimensional body. But what does that have to do with this communion thing? Isn't it obvious? We're trying to communicate with Chernobylite, or somehow influence it through the mental energy of our subjects. But getting inside this thing's mind, or whatever it is, must be a truly disturbing experience. You're fucking insane, both of you. You need to stay away from the morphine cabinet for a while. I've heard enough. Who's your patient here? I'm not sure, but it... She must have been carefully selected. Selected? How? Did she volunteer? Or was she maybe run down and captured by soldiers in the woods? Talk! I'm not familiar with the selection process. Our boss would know, but we know very little about him. What's your boss in charge of exactly? The entire biotech division, mm -hmm. pretty much everything Chernobylite related, but mainly the impact on human physical and I call psychological X. functions. <laughs> Let's see, you don't have my badge yet. Um, give it, uh, where is the badge? There. GG. Okay, then, uh, what's that? Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. Hmm. How does this work with Chernobylite? It's similar to a standard gene editing tool. We take specialized protein from a certain bacteria, modify it with Chernobylite, and then target the exact genes we want to modify. Wait, I know more about physics than genetics, but CRISPR is usually done on embryos, right? And it takes time, sometimes even years, for mutations to show. Our boss developed his own methods. The process is applied directly in the subject's body. The speed of the mutations has increased exponentially. It no longer takes years, but weeks, sometimes mere days. Marvelous, isn't it? <laughs> Marvelous. Enough. All I've got from you so far is a bunch of gibberish. I want to see the actual research. Where do you keep your data? All the research data? Check the database in this computer. Everything can be accessed from here. It's password protected, isn't it? Promise not to kill us, and we'll tell you. Don't worry. I don't give a shit about you. Password. 23 hash 98 S dollar. Listen to me very carefully, Igor. This research, this data, it's too dangerous to exist. My people died because of it. Delete everything. It won't bring my mother back, but at least no one will profit from her death and the deaths of others. You need to download this research, Mousy. This is the Rat King's brain stash. It's dangerous, yes, and inhuman. But it could contain the key to defeating him. Hmm. We don't know. This Omega unit seems to be a special unit designed to protect the power plant. What in the hell are the NAR hiding there? There are mutants here, I can tell you. These guys are telling the truth. They really achieved something incredible here. Why did you do it? God damn you! You did good, Igor. We will turn this information into a weapon against the Rat King. Here, this, this aliens. So somehow... This stuff, uh, changes, uh, people.
but I guess I have to leave soon because I already hear already hear the storm coming closer and closer. That's not good. My main mission is done. So that's a portal to travel back to the base. To my base. I'm sorry, Olga. Nobody deserves to die so horribly. I was hoping for some good news, but perhaps that was foolish. My mother, these people, they were all just used, processed. How could anyone do something like this? Anyway, did you find anything of value? Not sure yet. Bizarre theories about Chernobylite, mostly. I don't know if I want to get into the details yet. Try me. I'm not a bookworm like you, but I'm not stupid either. Well, NAR seems to think Chernobylite is like a giant turtle that carries our universe on its back. They figure they can tame it and ride it wherever they want. Like a pet. A turtle? <laughs> it's just a metaphor, but the scientific theory behind it is no less insane. Right. Uh, thanks for trying, I guess. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. <laughs> okay. Food. Everyone gets food. So, let's see, harvest the garden, maybe we need more food, because we are more people now. But this ammunition, I don't need that much. I guess we can shred some stuff. I mean, this problem maybe is not there when you don't play on easy. And because I play on easy, I have too much stuff.
But I'm drowning in items, so I have to destroy some. Mm, okay. That should be good. Full, 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 full. Full, 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 full. That should be okay. Maybe a little bit more ammunition for the gun. That should be okay. Huh? We never have enough. Okay. So now, have you heard of cloud seeding? I've heard that it's possible. Why? Because it was used to save Moscow from the Chernobyl fallout at someone else's expense. The rain would wash down the toxic particles. The first cleanup operation was just two days after the Chernobyl disaster. Obviously, it was done in secret. The goal was to make the rain fall on smaller cities and villages in Belarus and Ukraine, where the cloud could reach Moscow. The little people suffered because of it. No one can even guess how many people died in the radiation-related diseases in the following decades. Of course, the authorities denied it. They're still denying it even today. Every time I think about it, I wish I had one or two of those fuckers in the sights of my moss and maggot. I find that hard to believe. Naturally. I heard you were once a true believer in the system. It's not that simple. I... No need to explain yourself. It was a long time ago. I just hope you're smarter now. Those in power will always think of themselves first. Communism or no communism. Hi, Olga. I was wondering if you... I'd be glad to. Yeah, more damage. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Oh, gr No jokes while we're training or I'll smack you upside the head. Got it? More damage for the gun is always good. Okay, Igor, let me introduce you to your new best friend, the AK-47. Beloved weapon of revolutionaries and freedom fighters for decades. Some countries even put it on their flag, because it played such a big role in claiming their independence. But enough history. I'll give you some pointers to help you understand the weapon's full potential. The biggest challenge is compensating for recoil and automatic firing mode. You must learn to control it. Don't worry, the cans won't shoot back. Do your worst. Or best. Ready? Commence firing. Well, you need to work on your aim, and your stance, your proper grip, but you'll have many opportunities to practice. Okay, Professor, I think you've learned the basics. Okay. More damage training done. You still need practice. Lots of practice. Any new stuff? Oh, yes. A new simulation available. I got clues. Okay. Listen, Georgi, I know what I'm doing, but there's no going back now. I know, my dear friend. It's just that we lost such a brilliant mind that terrible night. 
I'm afraid of losing you, too, all over some romantic squabbles. And this misunderstanding also costs you your good looks. I don't want to listen to this anymore. No more distractions, you hear me? Oh yes, of course. I'm very happy to hear that it's all in the past now. Good. So let's get to it. I would like to see some results as soon as possible. We both know that she's the key. We've wasted enough time already. All right. All right. Just don't do anything rash, please. We need to follow the proper protocols. So my dear friend Boris worked with Semenov even after the Chernobyl disaster. I wonder what happened to his face. And Tanya is the key. The key to what? Gah, more secrets. I've got to keep digging. Digging, digging. Trials were too aggressive, my friend. I told you that you were using too much, didn't I? I told you. You're lucky you didn't end up brain dead like the others. But here we are. Boris is dead. Truly dead this time. There's no reason to pretend otherwise now. I suppose I should have seen this coming. The mental projections you told me about, the visions, they've been building for some time. He's dead, Jim. To be honest, I just thought that your hallucinations meant you were losing your mind. Prolonged exposure to Chernobylites often causes psychosis and hysteria, after all. Why, I've seen the test subjects babbling about Cthulhu, all wanting to save the world from rats. Hmm? You really did it, my friend. You crossed the Rubicon. You achieved something that no one has ever achieved before. Well, except her. But she has a different purpose. You will be the first of your kind. You will help me bring about a new era of human evolution. You will help me reach the stars. But who knows how long the story is in Zoom? Forget your past. Forget your pathetic personal involvements. Distractions. Foolish distractions for the weak. Wasting your time seeking validation from others, but not anymore. You don't need any of that going forward. You're to be my right hand in the days to come. Okay. It's time to drop your old mask and don a new one. Time to become what you were always meant to be. The Black Stalker. Wake up soon. We've got plenty to do, you and I. So it was Boris all along. He started the Chernobylite trials on himself. No. And became the Black Stalker. I'm not fooled. Dear God. I'm starving literally, so I guess I stream a uh, maximum one hour more and then I need to be fooded. The last time I eat something was, was uh, how many? Ooh, 13 hours ago. Nein, doch. Oh. Friendship payment, thank you. <laughs> Three fuel. 
That's almost three days. <laughs> I was eating um, I've told you on my parents' lunch. The problem, that's what you're calling it. Look, I won't even pretend to understand what you and your lab monkeys are doing down there. And I wouldn't care if I did. What I do care about is this facility and the safety of my men. So the next time you decide to rush an experiment that can potentially release a bunch of fucking monsters into the world, please tell me beforehand so I have time to devise a strategy. First off, the shadows are key to our research. They are hybrids that, you know what? Yeah, enjoy. Bother you with enjoy food. You won't be able to understand anyway. And sleep well then. You sleep better when you're not hungry. <laughs> And second, actually, no, I'm responsible to the board, not to you, Kozlov. Your job is to safeguard this operation, not lecture me on things you will never come close to understanding. In fact, the board wants you to cooperate closely, very closely, with my right-hand man. I would like you to familiarize him with all of our security protocols. Who? The freak in the black mask? You want to tell me who the hell he is? I'd like to know who I'm working with. If you need a name, call him what the rest of your men call him. The Black Stalker. One last thing. I know you don't share my views That's on the future Bobby's prospects my of this ex -friend. But don't even think about throwing in the towel. If we fail, there will be hell to pay for both of us. There is no walking away now. Hmm. So the NAR is somehow responsible for creating shadows. Or at least releasing them into the world. And Boris, the Black Stalker is also involved in NAR security. Boris. I will kill you, Boris. You or me. It will be you. <laughs> Achievement Black Stalker. Who is this? The real question is, who are you? Are you someone capable? Someone I can work with? I recognize your voice. You're that guy from the Duga radar installation. Call me Sashko. We can help each other. Raised in the jungle, right? Yeah, the concrete jungle called Moscow. Anyway, it seems we're both looking for someone. We might as well join forces. Besides, I have no love for these NAR droids you're tangled up with. They're in my way. What could you possibly contribute? I know this whole place inside out. I know who you're up against and I can handle myself in a fight. Any kind of fight. How's that for a contribution? Well, let's say I'm interested. Where do we go from here? Let's meet in two hours. Talk face to face. Find me on the roof of Café Bruviet in the port. Don't be late. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mousy. Ready to continue our great work? Let's see. Everyone don't likes me. Only Oliver likes me. Olivier.
Let's see. You entered the zone like a ghost, but now so many people know about you and your mission. I don't like this, Igor. This is dangerous. Sashko is a real daredevil, all right. Like everyone else out here, he probably has his own agenda. Watch your step, Igor. We will see. What's this all about? This way, okay. On the top, how we get on the top? I see. No, no, I don't believe this. Let's see. The good thing is my scanner can detect people. That's really Useful. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Third floor. already hmm. Hmm. okay Not go here. Have to go one down. Uh, 
not really. One more down. Of course. Rabbit dogs. I've always wanted to shoot a dog. Damn it. And warm. I'm warm in the wrong building. Go out, go out. So many people here. have to kill anyone. We can sneak the mission, I guess. Exception is when some monster wants to normally. Corinne, hello, welcome. <laughs> I'm not singing. No. That was the uh, um, guy who is protecting. Twenty three meters. Can tell you no, I'm not singing. That's the other guys. <laughs> oh shit. Yes, I'll stay here. Yeah. But I have to go more up. More up. Where we can do that? More. Do you move up? 
Ah, hier. Der. So many people here, nearby. Now for the real test. What do you mean? Test? You think I trust you now? Why? Because you showed up? You need to show me I'm making the right decision. I want to see with my own eyes that when the time comes, you will not hesitate. You want me to perform some parkour stunt for you? That's your idea of a test? Hello. Whatever. Call it what you want. I call it a bit of insurance. Now go. Where to go? What? Jumping or what? What do I have to do? I have no clue what to do. Jumping? Okay. You chief, well done. What was that all about? Trust, ego. It was about trust. I hope this wasn't all for nothing. Will you join me now? Another guy. I should do with all these guys. It's Mori, hello, welcome. So many people. Hmm. No shit. That sounds not healthy. Way too much what people. Eh? Master made for dinner tonight. Hope it's not more fish. I hate fish.
Oh shit. That was really unhealthy. Holy. I miss it's the singing. No, it, it was uh, not me, the singing. Normally I don't sing. Only when I'm drunk. Or so. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can go up. Electricity parts, mushroom. But I think we don't need to be here more because the main mission is done the reason where i came it's done I should have enough people soon to do the attack to the power plant. That was crazy what you asked me to do. You know that. Crazier than sneaking into the irradiated zone and playing tag with an army of mercenaries? Point taken. Like I said, we can help each other. But understand this, it's just a temporary partnership. You and I are not friends. Sure thing, partner. Looking forward to working with you. Listen, who gave you the music box? Crazy old man, like a vagrant. Normally I don't work with people like that, but it's not like the zone provides a lot of choice in clients. I did what I was asked of me, got paid and left. That's the end of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mentioned that you're looking for someone. Who? Normally I'd say... None of your damn business. But in the spirit of trust, I'll tell you. It's my brother. I need to find him and ask him some questions. Okay. okay. Talk to you soon. Now everyone wants food. Everyone gets the same amount of food, yes. Okay. Something strange happens.
Any new developments, Professor? Slowly getting there, I guess. Yeah, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Shoot. What do you think about Olga? Play matchmaker, Kinyuk? I thought you were a serious science type. I'm just curious. Normally I'd say it's none of your business, because it ain't. But I like you, Igor, so... Yeah, I do like her. She's cool. She's got her own special swagger. But I can't allow myself any distractions right now. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Besides, I don't think she's available, if you know what I mean. Sure. Uh, just don't wait too long, Sashko. Life is short, and no one knows what tomorrow will bring. Oh, for fuck's sake. Cut it with a melodrama, Kiminuk. Really doesn't suit you. We'll be just fine. I would like to redistribute our gear. Sure, redistribute the shit out of it. There you go. Take my pistol. How are things, Professor? Maybe you can teach me hey, some Sasko, stuff. You're experienced, right? Is there anything you can teach me uh, about... Uh... About what? Living on the streets? <laughs> I'm not offended. I can show you a thing or two, but you need to practice if you're serious about improving. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. Partner, welcome to the maze. This is a new trick and you're an old dog, but what the hell? It may even save your ass. You're welcome. Please don't make me regret setting this up for you. It was a major hassle. Anyway, I get to test this train ground on you. Your job is to enter the maze and find the exit as fast as you can. But keep in mind, it will require some stretching. Just follow my lead and try to keep her. Ready? Let's go. Don't just stand there. Jump. Drop your hips and bend those knees. Gather momentum. Crouch. Army crawl. Run, Igor, run. I'm mightily impressed, Igor. You'd have made a great addition to our gang back in Moscow when I was running for a year at the brick. Anyway, it's good to exercise at your age. It has a rejuvenating effect. You already seem ten years younger. <laughs> Good to see you're still in shape. It'll come in handy. How are things, Professor? Hey, Sasko, your experience about what? Okay. Actually, I can't do it right now. Then... Um. Cycle this stuff. I can't recycle that. No idea. But let's craft some stuff. Um,
Codeman Deluxe, hallo, willkommen. So. Can put things down here. That we don't need. All that stuff is okay. Yeah. New day, new luck. Do another guess the number game. partner on the radio what is it yeah he's knee deep in the shit nar is after him but that's to be expected if you keep taking from them and giving unto yourself huh i see that kind of business let's not get bogged down with the details just check if he's okay would you he's hiding somewhere near the pripyat port We do this mission. Let's see. All these years in the zone and all that Tarakan has to show for it are some officers' uniforms? Be careful, Igor. Don't end up as rat bait. What? I call X. <laughs> They call Hex the money. <laughs> Hello, another time, code man in Deluxe.
What are you doing there? Who? Oh, it's you. So, this is how you get your good, sir. Gordon Gecko, my ass. Wait, it's not like that. Don't bullshit me. I heard the gunshot. I'm not a murderer. You have to believe me. This dude was already a goner. I just... I put him out of his misery. It was mercy. You could have tried to help him instead. I wonder how your other customers will react to this. Or maybe you just shoot them too. What? No, of course not. I just... Look, out here, you need to take opportunities whenever you see them. Otherwise, you'll never make it. How about you forget you saw me, and next time, I might have something extra for you. No. Give me everything you have on you and get lost. What? You're out of your goddamn mind. You know how long it took me to get all of this? You said it yourself. You need to take every opportunity you can. Call one of your friends in high places if you have a problem with it. Fucking fine. Take it all. I was going to leave this godforsaken city of ghosts anyway. <laughs> Give me your stuff. Oh shit. What's that smell? Did someone take a shit out here or what? Hi, Evgeny. You can help me, friend. I'm... Uh, uh, no. No, I, I had one, but... Uh... Uh, too bad. I've never heard of her. She's a woman, right? Uh, we what have so already well, talked about this. He leaves me alone. So you do... What did I just say? That fucker's... You mentioned something about... What kind of things do you have? What about this, uh, box of loot? That'll be one food ration. Sure thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Bratva forever, Igor. Bratva forever. Sixteen meters? What?
Huh? What was that? That looks uh, like some trap. <coughs> okay, I see. To my parlor is up a winding stair. I have many curious things to show you when you are there. Here comes another riddle for you, pesky fly. Suddenly, a hare appeared. Wrong answer. <laughs> are you dead yet, my wee poop eater? Oh. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain. For who goes up your winding stair can ne'er come down again. A verse for you. Bang, bang. Oh, oh, oh. The hunter is going to die. You really are something, you filthy fly. You've come further than I had guessed. But this ends soon. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? Said the spider to the fly. Now, pay attention. He was crawling back home. Saying, bury me deep and let me lie. I can't believe you made it, you sneaky fly. Well, come into my parlor. Enjoy. No, no. stripes. I'm sure these will look good on me. One more thing. My computer. I have over 10 gigs of findings concerning Chernobylite. Great. What am I supposed to do about it? You know how to use Norton Commander? Launch the Rat King program. It will compress the files and upload them to the cloud. Through it, Tarakan. Unlock the computer and type Rat King Death or uppercase. This will activate the hidden dot bat file. Oh god, I do love the 90s. This is a fucking mistake. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Somebody is always offended. Looks like the Black Stalker is enhanced somehow by Chernobylite. <laughs> the NER put him in charge of safeguarding their science secrets.
Wait. I missed something. That was a computer, okay. Okay, okay. Easy. You came to finish the job, you bastard! What the hell happened here? Uh, use your eyes, genius! God, that goddamn creature from hell got the drop on us! Here. This should get you back on your feet. Thank you. I won't forget this. What else?
Who's there? Why are you loitering here? Easy. I'm just looking for some parts. What? Speak louder. I'm look. Stop yet. Yeah. Okay. What? This guy. The NKVD. These parts. The NKVD. Yeah. Oh my. What? Uh. What? I'll trade you. Did you find anything? Take a look, son. No, we don't need this stuff. See you thanks. later. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Discount from my savior. You are a beacon of hope in this rundown shithole. The decline of civilization is upon us, but we can still fight it. Take care of yourself. Oh, I was here already, okay. There is a loot box. I guess I discovered everything. There is a question mark, okay. Twenty meters. Did I talk with this guy? I guess yes. direction from here maybe no no way Yes, I do. Okay. Wait. There's no door. What? 
Did I miss something? Yeah, I miss something. This door. Okay, it shows me this again. Why? Why? Okay, I guess we are done here. I thought keeping you close was supposed to increase my chances of survival, not put me in the ground. What the hell was that? I gave you what you needed to disarm the traps and you did fine. I'm proud of you, Mercy. Yeah, I'm so glad you're on my side. Thanks for nothing. The sharpest sword must be forged in the hottest fires of hell. Soon you will see it wasn't for nothing, Mousy. All these documents and research, where did it come from? Next to the garbage incinerator. The woman in the red dress told me where to look. Are you kidding me? Not at all. I guess somebody fell asleep on the job. Nobody's perfect, Mousy. Not even the Rat King's lackeys. Mm -hmm. What now? <laughs> Can't scrap this shit, I guess. Um. All the weapons I don't use. Okay. 
that should be okay. Maybe we need one more battery. What can I do for you, Professor? Hi, Olga. I was wondering if you could... I'd be Actually, I can't do it right this minute. So, Pigo? I'm okay. Exploring Pripyat sometimes reminds me we used to live in one of those awful cheap flats called Khrushchevka. I remember that. I used to live in one as well. They were the epitome of communist architecture. Right. Small, narrow, and claustrophobic. Like a cage made of concrete. A scientist might say its size was inversely proportional to how much the family members hated each other. <laughs> and somehow it seemed to shrink every year. There was this urban legend going round about the front door being too narrow to fit a coffin through. I never heard that one. So, it was better not to die inside, you feel me? I wonder all the time what really happened to my parents. And every winter that funeral, I had to run. But that's a story for another day, I guess. I'm really sorry about your parents, Sashko. Hey, Sashko. About what? I can show you. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Nice moves, old timer. You still got it. Today, I'll teach you more about navigating obstacles and dropping to the ground without breaking your hip. It'll come in handy, I promise. This is going to be something special. Just you wait, partner. Can't wait to see you in action. Some the rules. Enter the maze and finish it. And at the very end, you'll find a special treat. Just be prepared for anything. Go! Go make your mentor proud! Um. What? Don't think, partner. Jump. Army crawl. Don't stop until you're through. I can see you need to work on your foot strike. What are your legs? Springs. Steel springs. Imagine you're doing this for Teddy. I Parkour is not really your cup of tea, huh? Just try not to fall down any stairs, all right? This is not a man's way to die. If you don't overthink it, miracles can happen. Nietzsche wrote, there is more wisdom in your body than in your deepest physiology. Or, uh, philosophy, or something. You know what I mean. You'll always land on your feet like a cat. Okay. Akua, okay. Next day... Got a sec, partner? Shoot. I know how to make small shape charges. Perfect for demolition locks. Right. I can see that coming in handy. But first, I need you to pick up the plastic left over from the Dugar Raider operation. Sounds like it's worth it. I'm a practical man. I wouldn't go suggesting shit like this if it was just a waste of time. I built my first pipe bomb when I was eight. I can make a charge from just about anything. How did such a promising young man ever end up here? <laughs> I've left some plastique in my old hidey hole. Bring it here and I'll get it to work. Ready to go? Sure. I'll mark the building on your map. It's in the Duga Radar facility. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, where else? Let's do this mission. And then I guess we are done Mikhail for today. Claims that everything is just business, but I know you can tell he's holding back the whole truth, can't you? There's a deep darkness within him, caused by loss and grief. Don't let it suck you in. After this mission, I think we played enough tour today. Finish the job, you bastard! What the hell happened here? Uh, use your eyes, genius! Uh, that goddamn creature from hell got the drop on us! Hmm. Here, this should get you back on your feet. Thank you. Uh, I won't forget this. Seventy five meters thirty. Oh, yes, this is a freaking door. It's I hate it already. Something will numb on me, I guess.
170 meters. What? Cannot go here. Why? Oh shit, what's happened here? I have no freaking clue where I am, but it's 80 meters to the target, I guess. Don't shoot. Mikhail sent me. Are you his business associate? His what? Ah, oh, yes. Sure. Sure thing. I've been shot. I need help. Mikhail, I found your friend. NAR did a number on him. It doesn't look good. Fuck! We'll pelt the man! I need him! He's got connections! Besides, he doesn't deserve to die like that! Like a dog! Like a dog. Let me patch you up. Thank you. I don't have anything on me. I had to drop everything when I ran. But I've got some intel you can have. I'm looking for someone. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. She, uh... She plays a violin, right? Sibelius. Yes. My God, that's her favorite composer. You... You know her? I can still hear the music. Beautiful. Inspired. Sibelius is not for everyone. Weeks ago, I started having the dreams. Only the music at first. Then I saw her. She didn't say anything, but I understood. She communicated with me through the music. My wife Katya used to play the violin, you see. That was our connection. What did she communicate? Oh, uh, I wrote it down someplace, but it's still in my hideout, probably swarming with NAR goons. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to check your hideout. This is very important to me. You'll be fine. I promise. I promise. something to loot? No, of course not. Of course not. 
Damn it. to get there. Of course. The fools rush in. You know this expression, Igor? You're like a foolish child wandering in the dark. You think you're getting closer, but the dark water is rushing in. Soon it will be over your head. You should have stayed away. You cannot ruin everything now. I won't allow it. So, want to show me what you're made of? Now run. I will hurt you if I have to. I'm giving you a 10 second head start. Okay, I have to go up. Um, where we can go up? Here somewhere? Yeah. More up. I can get more. Ah, oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Great. 
دبستان Okay, I think I discovered everything here on the map. Yeah. Let's go back to the base. Make it. Oh, that's a relief. He has access to different goods and a lot of useful contacts. Looking out for your fellow man, eh, McHill? Fuck you, Mr. Righteous. Maybe this is some kind of romantic adventure for you, but some people have to make a living here. So was a radiation Okay. 
safe. We continue this game next time. Yeah.